What if the most fundamental thing in your life, the ticking clock you can never escape, could actually end? We humans are obsessed with time. We live by it, measure it, complain about not having enough of it. Seconds, minutes, hours, birthdays, deadlines, the countdown to the weekend. Time is so woven into our existence that it feels impossible to imagine a reality without it. But here is the kicker. Physics suggests that time may not be fundamental at all. In fact, there is a chance it could stop entirely. That's not just the stuff of science fiction. It's an idea some of the world's leading physicists take seriously. Imagine it. Not the end of your lifetime. Not the end of humanity. Not even the end of the universe in the usual sense. But the end of time itself. No more flow of moments, no before and after, no cause and effect, just silence. It sounds insane, but the deeper we dig into the laws of physics, the stranger time becomes. Einstein showed us that the time isn't absolute. It stretches and bends depending on speed and gravity, hinting that at the most fundamental level, time might not exist in the way we think it does at all. So the question becomes, if time had a beginning with the Big Bang, could it also have an end? And if it does, would we even notice when it happened? Before we can ask whether time might end, we need to ask a simpler question. What is time in the first place? And that turns out to be one of the hardest questions in all of physics. To most of us, time feels obvious. It's the steady ticking of a clock, the rhythm of day and night, the aging of our bodies. It flows forward like a river, carrying us from the past into the future. But here is the problem. That comforting picture of time isn't really how physics describes it. Let's rewind to Newton. In his universe, time was absolute. An invisible, universal clock that ticked the same for everyone, everywhere. Drop an apple in England or fire a cannon in France and both events would unfold on the same cosmic timeline. It was a neat, intuitive idea, but it turned out to be wrong. Enter Einstein. In his theory of relativity, time is no longer separate from space. The two are bound together in a fabric called space-time. And that fabric bends. Travel near the speed of light or get close to a massive object like a black hole and time doesn't tick the same way it does for someone far away. Your seconds stretch compared to theirs. Time is relative, slippery and dependent on your perspective. But if Einstein shattered our common sense view of time, quantum physics broke it into thousand pieces. At the level of fundamental particles, the equations don't treat time the same way we do. In fact, some versions of quantum gravity don't even need time as a variable. When they attempt to unify Einstein's relativity with quantum mechanics, the laws still work without it. That's unsettling, because if the universe doesn't actually require time at its most fundamental level, then our everyday sense of it might just be an illusion. A convenient way for humans to make sense of change, but not a built-in feature of reality. So maybe the scarier question isn't whether time will end, maybe it's whether time ever really existed at all. The deeper we dive into the foundations of the universe, the more time starts to look like a special effect. Something that shows up only when you zoom out far enough. One of the biggest hints comes from attempts to merge quantum mechanics with general relativity. Einstein gave us a universe where space-time bends and warps, but quantum physics describes particles popping in and out of existence. These two frameworks don't play nicely together, and when physicists try to write equations that combine them, something strange happens. Time disappears. Take the wheeler dewitt equation, one of the central attempts at quantum gravity. Unlike almost every other equation in physics, it has no time variable. It describes the quantum state of the entire universe, but it doesn't evolve in time. It just is. That's unsettling because our experience screams that the time is real. Yet the math that should describe the ultimate reality doesn't seem to need it. Another clue comes from the concept of entropy. Time feels like it flows forward from past to the future. But physics laws don't actually care which way you run the equations. A ball rolling downhill works just as well in reverse. So why don't we ever see broken eggs reassemble themselves? The best explanations we have is entropy. The universe tends towards disorder. But that means what we call the arrow of time might just be a byproduct of rising entropy, not a fundamental feature of reality itself. Some physicists even argue that time emerges the way temperature does. 
Temperature isn't a property of a single particle. It only exists when you look at trillions of them together. Maybe time is like that. Not something baked into the foundations of the universe, but something that shows up when matter and energy are arranged in the right way. If that's true, then time could in principle vanish under extreme conditions. Which leads to an unsettling question. What would the end of time actually look like? If time really isn't fundamental, if it's something that emerges from the way the universe is structured, then it isn't guaranteed to last forever. Just like stars burn out and galaxies collide, time itself might have an expiration date. The most well-known scenario is the Big Freeze. In this vision of the future, the universe keeps expanding forever. Galaxies drift further apart until they vanish from view. Stars burn out, black holes evaporate and everything trends towards maximum entropy. A state of perfect sameness where nothing new ever happens. Without change, there can be no before or after. Time doesn't so much end in an explosion, but in a whisper. It just stops mattering because nothing is left to mark its passage. A more violent possibility is the Big Rip. Here, dark energy, the mysterious force driving cosmic acceleration, doesn't stay constant. Instead, it gets stronger over time. Eventually, it overpowers gravity, then rips galaxies apart, then stars, then planets, and finally atoms themselves. At that moment, space-time itself would unravel. And if space-time breaks down, the flow of time goes with it. The cosmic clock doesn't just stop ticking, it shatters. Then there are more exotic ideas. In some versions of quantum gravity, space-time isn't continuous but made of tiny discrete chunks. If that's true, time could break down at the smallest scales, like a movie reel running out of frames. Imagine reality skipping and then halting altogether. There are also models where dark energy evolves in strange ways, effectively altering the speed at which time flows. In these scenarios, time doesn't end abruptly, instead it slows to a crawl, almost approaching zero. From our perspective, the universe would simply fade into stillness. Each possibility paints a different kind of death, a frozen eternity, a catastrophic tearing apart, or a quiet fading into nothing. But they all lead to the same chilling thought. If time itself runs out, would there even be anyone left to notice? It's one thing to talk about equations and cosmic models, but what would it actually feel like if time ended? Could anyone or anything experience it? The unsettling truth is, probably not. Experience itself requires time. To notice something, you need a before and an after. Your brain has to compare two states and recognize a difference. Without time, there is no motion, no change, no thought, no awareness. If time ended, there wouldn't be a moment of realization, no cosmic voice whispering, this is it. Everything would simply freeze and there would be no one left to even call it frozen. In the Big Freeze scenario, the end of time is gradual. Civilizations might persist for eons, building artificial stars or mining black holes for energy. But eventually entropy wins. When every process stops, when no atoms decay, no particles collide, no energy flows, time has effectively ended. It wouldn't feel like a dramatic finale, it would be an eternal standstill. In the Big Rip, it's more cinematic. You would feel the effects long before the final moment. Galaxies unraveling, the night sky tearing apart, then your very atoms ripped from each other. But here is the paradox. As you approach the end, time itself stretches. From your perspective, the final instant might seem to last forever, a strange kind of eternal disintegration. And in the more abstract models, where time simply emerges and then disappears, we wouldn't notice at all. The end of time would be less like a clock striking midnight and more like a dreamless sleep. No awareness, no memory, just a total absence of experience. It's an eerie thought. Every moment might not be permanent. Time could be as fragile, fleeting and temporary as the stars themselves. By now you might be thinking, okay, so time might not be fundamental and maybe it could end, but why should I care? I've still got bills to pay and coffee to drink. Fair point. But the question of time cuts to the heart of physics and reality itself. Every physical law we know is built on the assumption that events happen in time. Planets orbit stars, particles collide, light travels. Without time, none of these processes make sense. If time is an illusion or an emergent property, then everything we think we know about reality is resting on a kind of a cosmic trick. And that trick doesn't just matter for philosophy, it matters for science. 
The clash between relativity and quantum mechanics, the two pillars of modern physics, may come down to their different treatment of time. Relativity treats it as a flexible dimension, quantum physics seems to say it's not fundamental at all. Reconciling these two pictures could be the key to a true theory of everything. There is also a humbling perspective here. Humans measure our lives in decades, civilizations in centuries, stars in billions of years. But if time itself is temporary, then even the lifespan of the universe is just a flicker inside of something deeper. The end of time isn't just about cosmic doomsday, it forces us to confront how fragile our understanding of reality really is. Maybe time won't end. Maybe it never existed in the way we think. Or maybe one day, long after the last star has burned out, the universe will fall silent and the final second will tick away, not into another moment, but into nothing. And that's why it matters. Because until we understand time, we don't truly understand the universe. Thank you for watching. Keep looking up. Thank you.